Hey y'all, I'm coming today to do a multiple product rave type deal. It's not going to be like a super, super review because that would take too much time going over all the details of each thing. So it's going to be more of a generalized thing. And if you have more specific questions, feel free to ask. So this one is going to be for um, foundations. You know, that's my specialty there. I have a lot of situation to cover up. So over the years, I've acquired quite a collection. And I'm going to just show y'all and tell y'all a little bit about some of my favorite ones. So we'll start off with the one y'all probably heard about the most. It's my Nars Share Glow. And I wear this one in color Cadiz. But I also, I could wear Mikeo too. So I kind of, it just depends. It really does. I, if I wear Mikeo, I have to mix in some Cadiz though. Because if not, it'll go on too light. So either or, this one, it provides coverage. It feels really light. It gives off a nice glowy finish. Like I always tell people all the time, like, oh my God, you have such beautiful skin when I wear this one. It's kind of pricey. It's like over forty dollars. So if you want to get it, wait until like Sephora having a annual sale or the coupon and stuff they give off, and that's a good time to try it and make a sample. You know, so that way you could see if stuff works for you. Don't go waste your money unless you sample that. I sampled this like oh like three four times before I committed to it. So. This is definitely at the top of my list. And I have a video up showing how I use it. If you're curious, it covers up acne scars. I don't care what people say. It do. Now, my next one is going to be Kevin Aquan, which is another one that um, y'all have heard me talk about before. Now, you can use this as like an all-purpose type deal. You can use it as foundation, because you can make a tinted moisturizer out of it highlight whatever you want to use it for on your lips it don't matter you can use it very versatile this little jar got it can't have a lot in it but 18 grams in it I've had this in over a year definitely and can you see how much I still have left and this is pretty much daily use and this color here is SX13, but I use SX12 too sometimes. I got a hair that just won't this damn wig. I'm sorry. But I use this one pretty much every day too. It don't matter what foundation because the creaminess, the texture of it just smooths over. Like if you have bumps and stuff, it's not real hard to work with. It's not oily, so you know it's not gonna like just sweat off your face. The pigmentation is awesome like you only need a dab like i've learned i've used it as foundation before not like just stick painted on but like mixed in with stuff and all you need i literally whatever i put on like my concealer brush i just mix that in with like a tinted moisturizer a moisturizer and that's enough to do my whole face again this one's real pricey is over 40 dollars and it's harder to get now sephora used to carry it but they stopped here in San Antonio. It has a makeup store called Amar. They carry the line. So I'm pretty sure most of y'all not in San Antonio. But you can find it online and everything. So this one, definitely. If you're acne spots and stuff to cover, or even if not, even if you have good skin and just want a little coverage, this is so concentrated that it will last you a really long time because you don't have to use that much. I got a connected dot face and I still have that much left. Now my next one is going to be Amon. I guess I go over my most used ones at the moment. And this one is the second to none luminous foundation. I've raved about this. I've talked about this already before. This one is a powder. I've bought this at least like five times it go quick man i'm like you must don't get like nothing up in here see they trick you this is how you get how you got all this plastic but this is how you get but i love it so i keep paying the 15.99 i finally found a walgreens around here to sell it so i don't have to go to houston and dallas to get a louisiana to get it no more but this one is like the mineralized skin finish from mac to me 
but it has probably more coverage. Like I could use this pretty much by itself as a foundation if I want to. You could apply it wet, but I've never tried it wet. I always just wear it dry. And it just gives a nice evenness glow to your skin. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. This is like whenever I do makeup looks, I usually finish with this one. Just because I like the way it brings everything together. And I'm wearing it today. I have, this is clay one. But again, I use clay one, clay two, clay three. And clay three is probably too dark. That's the only one that's real noticeable. Clay one and clay two, I can't tell too much of a difference. But love this stuff. Love it. If somebody knows something comparable to this, you know, let me know. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My next one I'm going to go is, this one's called Interface. Now, I got this one from the Colored Beautiful website. And they sell, like, Flory Roberts and... Some other black people on makeup. But I know Floyd Roberts is a big one. If you want, you should check that out because they have some really good products. Oh man, I got a blush. I'm rumbling. I got a blush from there that is awesome. Like awesome is in the awesomeness. Women of color, check out their website. They always have specials and stuff too. But back to the foundation. This one is in soft ginger and it's called the base strokes. It's a stick foundation. And you could do the swipe method and mix it, you know, with your brush, uh, blend it out with your sponge. But I like to use this more of a concealer than foundation. Like if I want to do a powder type day, sometimes I'll just use this and put on whatever powder that I want to put on top. Has amazing coverage. The consistency is comparable to the black opal stick, but their color ranges to me are so much better than with black opal. I just can't wear black opal. Black opal makes me look like I have enough issues trying to match foundation, but black opal is like the fashion fair drugstore for me. That it just makes my skin look orange and red and everything else. But this one, great coverage, convenient. It's real smooth, glides over. Great for bad skin dates, which is what I like it for. And my next one is going to be Chanel, and this one is the Tint on the Sauce. And I think I'm saying that right, because I've heard other people say it. Or at least they kind of sound like that's what they were saying. This one is in the color Cedar 7.5. Now, bad thing about this, y'all, they discontinuing this. Or it's discontinued. When I was at Nordstrom's not too long ago, the lady was like, yeah, the new Aqua thing it's supposed to take over um this foundation but they don't even have black people shades in it like even if you Beyonce like they don't even have your shade in it so so well Chanel no more $50 foundation for me but this one right here it's a liquid and it comes in this little glass thing it gives a dewy coverage like I said it with powder but not a lot of powder because I like the dewiness that it does give because it makes that natural glow. I love this for especially if my skin ain't acting too crazy. This one works real good. It's buildable. You know, it's not bam, full coverage or anything. It's kind of same coverage um, family as sheer glow is what I put it. You know, you can kind of build it on to get the coverage that you need. I love the color. You know, I wish Chanel... I think they want to bring it back, you know, I wouldn't mind because this is one that I get a lot of compliments on too when I wear it. You know, lots of people compliment on how great my skin is. Not how great my foundation is, but how great my skin is because it doesn't give off that bam, I wear a foundation type look. So this one is pricey again, like I said, and um, the color, I think the darkest they come is in 8 chestnut and it's 7.5. If you want to see, a, uh, I think she might have took it down. But Mila Makeup, she had a video on it. And that's probably, I think that's why I brought it, matter of fact. Because why, see, YouTube make you spend money. But this one is definitely. Now, my next one is um, Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. And this one is, I think it's just called Stick. This one's called, in color golden. 
And I also have um six point because this one's six, but I brought six point five too. You know, sometimes you tan, you get lighter, all that stuff there. So I like to get two colors. This is the end. This is how much is left. Look. So you can tell this one definitely was, and this is a replacement. Like this has been replaced. So I definitely like this one. You know, um, Bobby Brown gets pricey. You know, this stick is like forty some dollars, but um. Sometimes the CCO has Bobby Brown. So if you live near one, you can get a little bit of a discount. This one, oh, this is definitely probably one of my top stick foundations to wear all over. This one I love for spot coverage. If I wear it all over, it's like, it's, it's so full of coverage that it's too full of coverage for me. But this one right here is like that perfect in the balance type deal. That it gives just enough coverage, but... It still has the naturalness to it. So Bobby Brown offers great women of color selection. So you'll probably definitely find a shade for you. And like I said, I wear the six. I probably wore this in the most. I brought the six point five, but this is like it matches so good. Like I put it on and I couldn't even tell where I put it. This is definitely probably one of the best color matches I've had. And I've been using this one probably since like 06. Not this particular one, but Bobby Brown's been in a rotation since like, I think like 2006. So still liking her. Now my next one, this has been a long video. Uh, MAC Full Coverage. It's my only MAC foundation that I'm putting in here. Even though I have pretty much every foundation that MAC has, you know, it just... It's not definitely in my top faves. I don't really recommend a lot of them to people. You know, they're good, but it's much better out there. This one's a full coverage foundation. And what this is, this one's in NW35. Um, I have NC45 and NC and NW40. But um, the girl got this one. I had a makeup before, and she used it, like, to highlight my face. The highlight it was it was badass, but it's way too much work for me to do. This one is very very full coverage. The best way to apply this one is with a buffing brush, or like if you put on your finger and spot and then blend it out. So either way, it's probably the best way because just straight on, it's gonna be way too. You know what? It's probably I should try the other one. Way too much coverage. Everybody know Mac shade, so. Very accessible, lots of shades. So this one, full coverage. They only, you know what? It's only a pro item now. So no, it's not accessible a lot. But you go order it offline. And my next one that I don't have over here. Sorry, I used this one today. So this one is Derma Blend. I don't know Vinci. Vinci um, Laboratories is a comp. I don't know. I've never heard it call it before. But um, it's Derma Blend, and this one is called the Corrective Foundation. This one is definitely up there on my top faves. I have a video with this one. If you watch my five minute face video that I did for Black Mages contest, I use this one. I have this one in the color Spice. And this right here for bad skin days, this is definitely my favorite. Like, by far, hands down, my favorite. It covers everything in one layer, so it's no way for it to really look too caked on. But what you get is a full coverage, and this is liquid, but you get a full coverage one layer. I really like this the wear of it is a really i say really one more time i know but the wear of it goes good it wears well it has sunscreen in it so if that kind of stuff is important they have a decent color selection you know it's not necessarily like um makeup forever that many shades but they do offer darker shades and if you're if you have dark spots I would definitely, this this would be my top recommendment. I can't remember how much it costs. I actually, I got this from the outlets. The um, Lancome outlet, they have um, Derma Blend there. 
I think it's Lancome outlet designer. I don't know, but they sell Lancome stuff there. So that outlet store, I think it was like twenty dollars there, but I don't know how much it is in the store. And I've brought this one two times. Like this is my second one. It lasts a really long time because you only need like a little bit. All I put is just you know less than I use it in North Shear Globe, and bam, there you go. So that is it. I know it's a long video, but if you're looking for good full coverage for women of colors, you know, try out those. Those are definitely my top picks that I think, you know, I tried to go through all of them and these made the cut. So how many was that? I think it was 10, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know. I forgot to count, but that is it. So hopefully this helps somebody and that concludes the video. <laughs> Bye y'all.